Well, the seven-year-old we're about to meet has a potentially life-threatening disease. She's in and out of hospital, and after seeing the toy cupboards at Vic General empty, she wasted no time and got to work. Tess Van Stratton has her story. He's down by the lake eating gruffalo cake. Watching Jamie Lynn Fromel laugh and smile at story time. It's a snake. <laughs> You'd never know the seven-year-old has a serious liver disease. It is really, really difficult because they can't tell us an answer. They can't tell us if she's going to get better. It all started two years ago when Jamie Lynn began throwing up blood and had to be airlifted to BC Children's Hospital after her second emergency room visit. She needed a transfusion of blood and platelets and they got her into emergency surgery that same day when she landed at Children's. Um, we spent almost a month in BC Children's. Doctors still don't know what's causing it, and Jamie Lynn has to go back every month or two to try and stop the bleeding. At this point, it's kind of a wait until she's in acute stage before we think about a liver transplant. And so it's like a wait and see if she's going to maintain this or if she's laying on death's door waiting for a transplant. There are also stays at Victoria General Hospital, and during the last one, Jamie Lynn saw the toy cupboard was empty. When you have any length of stay in the hospital, the first thing you think about is, get me home, I want to be home. What came to Jamie Lynn's mind is she shows mom the cupboards and the shelves, saying, mom, look, there's not enough toys for the kids, and they're really old, we have to, we have to do something about this. Like, what seven-year-old does that? Jamie Lynn started fundraising and collected almost $1,600. The Hillside Canadian Tire matched $1,000 worth of toys for a total of almost $2,600. Why did you want to help other kids? Uh, because, like, if they saw that the toy cupboard was empty, they would be very sad because they would have, like, not enough toys to play with. Yeah, she picked every toy out herself. She thought about boys and girls and babies and older kids and uh, she thought about having an IV in your hand. She wanted to make sure the toys you, we got, you could play with with one hand. But this caring grade two student at Cloverdale Traditional School now has a new goal and it's a big one. I want to raise money so we can build like a children's hospital right in Victoria. I don't even have words for how honored I am to get to be her mom and to learn all of these lessons from her. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.